Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. This year, the Chicago Auto Show was all about trucks and Ram was front and center with their updated 2017 Power Wagon, one of the only true and dedicated off-road models available in any three-quarter ton truck. While well, we've talked about and test driven the 2016 Power Wagon last fall, Ram upped the ante for 2017 with a number of enhancements that bring it more in line with the Ram 1500 Rebel in its swagger, and even kicks it up a notch beyond that. The first big thing you notice is a new Bulldog nose grill from the Rebel, replacing last year's crosshair design. It comes along with blacked out projector beam headlights and a black powder coated front bumper. And in that bumper is the Power Wagon's trademark 12,000 pound winch with 125 feet of cable. Its bulgier hood has gloss black graphics that really add some punch, but the big news? It's the return of the retro style vertical power wagon graphic on the bedside. It comes in black with lighter paint colors and silver with the dark shades. At the rear end, the power wagon gets the big ram lettering we saw in last year's Rebel in limited special editions, as well as a big graphic. But please note, you can also get the power wagon without all the graphics if you want. A 17-inch wheel design is new this year, similar in look to the Rebels, matte black with silver accents and featuring exposed lug nuts with a small center cap. They're mounted up with 33-inch Goodyear Wrangler Duratec all-terrain tires. Moving inside, the Power Wagon gets an interior makeover very similar to that of the Rebel, complete with tire tread pattern and logos on the black and gray cloth seats. Front seats are heated and an upgrade to an embroidered leather interior is also available. The rest of the interior gets gray accent stitching on the soft trims and unlike the Rebel with its bright red trims, the Power Wagon gets a more tasteful outfitting with satin chrome accoutrements across the dash, the door panels and the center console. On the floor are some very cool all-weather logo rubber floor mats and the headliner it's blacked out as are the A, B and C pillars. And when it comes to infotainment you get the 8.4 inch touchscreen with all the latest Uconnect functionality. Making the Power Wagon unique in the market is its robust chassis and suspension for an off-road truck because, as of yet, nobody else in the three-quarter ton class offers this level of hardware. This starts with heavy-duty axles front and rear, both with 410 gears and electronic locking differentials. The front suspension is a three-link design with taller coil springs for a two-inch lift, Bilstein shocks, and modified control arms for a higher degree of articulation. There's also an electronic disconnecting sway bar which allows the front axle to move more independently for hardcore off-roading. And at the rear, instead of leaf springs, the Power Wagon gets a coil sprung five-link suspension, again, for better articulation and a softer ride than most three-quarter ton trucks offer. All of this gives it an articulation index of 26 inches, an approach angle of 33.6 degrees, and 26.2 degrees of departure. Oh, and it can drive through water 30 inches deep. So basically this truck is decked out almost like a supersized Jeep Wrangler Rubicon when it comes to underbits, but even with all this off-road capability it still has a decent payload rating of 1510 pounds and a towing capacity of up to 10,030 pounds. Driving the Power Wagon like before is exclusively the 410 horsepower 6.4 liter gas V8 and a 6 speed automatic transmission. It does have a specific throttle mapping for extra smoothness at slow speeds when off-roading and four wheel drive low. The Cummins diesel is unfortunately still not an option here. Ram tells us it's because of the engine's additional weight, which isn't so good for off-roading, but also because the intercooler packaging can't occupy the same space as the winch. The Power Wagon is available only as a crew cab model and comes in a limited palette of colors. Of interest though, it's available as a base stripped tradesman without any of the interior or exterior duds. Just the hardware. Man, I think that tradesman would be the ultimate off-road sleeper. I mean, nobody's going to see that coming, especially without all the graphics and all the extra duds there. But that said, all of these will arrive later this fall with the 2017 Ram line. Now pricing hasn't been announced yet for it, but we can expect that it's going to be slightly more than the current pricing, which is about $51,000 for the pretty one and $46,000 for the tradesman. That said, I'll have a much more detailed report this fall when I get to drive one. Until then, click on the link right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We test drive one, sometimes two vehicles every week. Plus, we have a new video just like this one almost every day. There's always something new. So stay tuned.